Welcome back to Ashley Open Stuff. Today is a little different. I'm not opening stuff per se, um, but this art piece is from an opening I did a while ago and I wanted to just paint this with you. It has been a long week. I'm tired. I don't know how your week has been, but let's just make some mindless content together. And I got some extra uh, cotton swabs here. These are gonna be our paints. And this is the cute picture I got. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It kind of looks like an egg with feet and a face and some cute little heart balloons. Uh, this came from an unboxing of a baby doll um, that I won a giveaway doll uh, with In Love With Reborns 2011. And this was one of the cute little pieces in there. So I thought we'd color it together, I guess. Um, the direct, it, uh, Stephanie attached on a couple little Q-tips. I got some more Q-tips. The directions say to cut along this dotted line to cut the little paint squares off. So let's do that. Boop, there we go. So these are loose. I'm not even sure what I all wanna do yet. Let's just put these up here for now. So it looks like we got purple, green, blue, orange, yellow, red, the usual rainbow of colors. So I don't know, what should we start first? Um. Now I have to be inspired. It's like I'm mentally maxed out, but now I got to be creative. So this is like brain exercising for me. Let's start out with, well, maybe the center of attention here. Let's start out with the egg. What color should it be? I'm kind of feeling like, like a blue, like a robin's egg maybe. So maybe let's start out with that and then maybe we'll see how it goes. Maybe we can do a gradation until like purple, but let's, let's start out with blue. So dab a little water on the Q-tip or the cotton swab and we'll pick up a little bit of color. Ooh, that's a lot of color on there. And let's just, let's just dab it on there and see what happens. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We're getting quite a bit color. Quite a bit of color. Go around his little eyes. Okay. Not bad. And you know, I might get outside the lines, but that's okay. Ain't no thing. It happens. Okay. So let's see here. We'll do a little bit to his mouth. See how it's kind of fading? It's darker up here. I wonder if it I can build it up as I do stuff. Okay, so we'll go around there. So let's go maybe some purple on the bottom. Maybe just a little bit like it's a shadow. And I do have a paper towel over here too because I don't want to make a mess. I probably shouldn't be doing this on my fancy table runner, but... Oh well, um, so let's let's just do this down here and make it a little darker, like a shadow maybe. Oh, I need a little more water. It's starting to peel off the paper if I scrub too hard. There we go. Definitely want it more blue than purple, but we'll see. Okay, so we got a little bit of purple down there. All right. So let's build up the blue a little bit. Let's make this a little darker up here, maybe. That's fun. Hmm. And I, like I said, I don't have any like goal for this. Just relaxing and making some cute little artwork. I wonder, there we go. And hanging out with you. I'm here, you're here. We just kind of relax, hang out together. It's been a long day. I peopled a lot. So 
many people. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind like hanging out and being social, but sometimes I just get really tired after like the whole social thing happens and my poor brain just needs time to like recharge and refocus and kind of chill a little bit and do something where I don't have to think about <laughs> what I say and how I say it and all that fun stuff. So this is kind of nice. Okay, let me just kind of brush some of this off with a dry Q-tip. I got some loose paper that's popping up because I'm kind of scrubbing it a little harder than maybe I should be. There we go. He looks kind of cute. Okay, so let's move on to maybe his little feet. So let's, okay, so this is wet and gross. We're gonna set that on the paper towel. Let's do maybe like orange and yellow. We'll start out with maybe orange at the top, um, underneath the egg part. Ooh, look at that color. I mean, it comes off quite a bit. I mean, where it's dark. Mm -hmm. There we go. It just doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't like I'm gonna be selling this on eBay. I'm not gonna be retiring off this. So if it kind of goes out of the lines, if it's not perfect, that's okay. The goal of this is just to relax and be creative and use some pretty colors. Yeah, look at that yellow. Huh, and then we'll put some yellow on his little feeties here. Oh shoot, where's that green color from? I don't know, I'm gonna be making a mess. Ha, I found a towel. I didn't put laundry away right, so I have a kitchen towel just kind of hanging out on the kitchen table. <laughs> so I'm going to put the, the paint on there because it is kind of bleeding through and I don't want it to stain my cool table table runner dealy. So let's just get that there. Let me show you here. Here we go. Colors will feed in. A little more yellow. I mean, yellow looks pigment pigmented on the Q-tip, but it is definitely watercolors. And I know I, I have no idea where it just came from. Like, if it was a dollar store, dollar general, Walmart kind of project, but there we go. Project book, but yeah, it was torn out of like something with a bunch of them. All right, that's what he looks like so far. Um, maybe I'll put a little more dark, maybe I'll darken around his eyes a little bit with the blue. There we go. Here, make his eyes pop a little more. And contour his mouth a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. I got my trusty paper towel. Plop that up there. All right, so then we have this big heart and a bunch of little hearts. Um, let's maybe do, I'm kind of feeling, hmm, we got red and green and some various other stuff left. Let's do, since we have a lot of green and a lot of red, let's maybe do this big heart red, and then we'll see how much color we have left. And then maybe like the little hearts on the bottom red too. We'll see what that does. Kind of have to budget my colors because I never know how long this is gonna last. I look color swatches. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost like a pinky red. Mm -hmm. And like I said, out of the lines, doesn't matter. It's hard to be accurate with cotton swabs, but it works. 
And a little dab will do you for water. You don't need to saturate the whole thing. Soak it all up in there. Maybe I should sell this on eBay. <laughs> there you go. Ashley opened stuff the eBay page. <laughs> Where I do all these random, like, relaxing things. What do you think about that? That'd be interesting. Just darken this up a little bit. Okay, so the big heart is pretty well colored in. We might go back and touch up if we have some more left. Um, let's do maybe like a row of little hearts on the bottom. Maybe we'll do this, this middle row here. Because we have a lot of colors to use, which is good. Uh, but yeah, the red, we're using quite a bit of red. And we're going to give this part a chance to dry too. And then maybe I'll darken it up a little bit once it's dry. Ooh, got a little crazy with that one, but that's okay. And then we can add a little darker red. Maybe we can build it up here. So it's like a little shadowy area behind the little guy and his balloons. Okay, that's not too bad. That's looking good. Um, let's see. Orange. Orange and green. I hate to use green because I don't want it to feel like too like holiday season with the red and the green. But I do still want to use green. What should we color green? Maybe we could do like a, the green strip down here and we'll see how that looks there we go kind of reminds me of grass a little bit of grass even though I don't think it's grass but green seems like a ground color too to me anyway. Purple could be a ground color for you. Or orange. That's okay. This is completely your imagination kind of project. There's no right or wrong. You're just creating something fun that you like. And if other people happen to enjoy it too, great. Make someone's day a little better by sharing. And if they don't like it, that's okay too. Art is very perspective and some people just don't see it and that's okay. They have an eye for different stuff. And that's kind of nice too, because we're all a little different. If we all like the same stuff, that would be really boring be hard to be creative if everyone just kind of liked the same stuff. There. Oh, maybe a little more. This green isn't as pigmented as I'd hoped it would be, or maybe I just need more water. I don't know. I hate to use more water because then I feel like it's going to make a bigger mess. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe I just need to slap it on there. All right. So there we go. Um, while we got the green out, maybe we should do just like a couple little hearts. Maybe we'll do, we'll make this heart green over here. And oops, gotta dab off a little bit of water. Maybe we'll do, Mm, like maybe one of the balloon hearts. Maybe we'll do one of the balloon hearts green too. Yeah, little guy. There we go. There we go. Close enough. 
close enough. Yeah. All right, let's do some purple maybe. And since he, I kind of want to keep the purple away from this blue, this blue and purple. So let's do <laughs> maybe like, like this heart purple. Cause I don't want all the purple in one spot. So we'll put it in a couple different spots. There you go. Put a little purple here and maybe we'll make like, like maybe like this one purple. What do you think about that? Should we make the big one purple? Purple's a good color. And we can always go back and make changes. And ch you know, add color, shade color. We'll just see what we got going here. Okay, orange. I haven't used a lot of orange. Um, Maybe that's a color that we can use for the background around all this stuff. I use a little orange on the legs, but not a lot. So maybe let's do that. Let's get our orange on. Woo! Let's do some orange. Let's do some big orange. I'll make the background orange. Oh yeah, it kind of makes those gray hearts pop a little. That's kind of neat. So hopefully we'll have enough orange to do that. Spread it around, and if we need to go back and we have enough, we'll make it darker later. Maybe we can mix some colors later too and do some sort of fun stuff. I'm just kind of using one color at a time. But we'll see here. Ooh, yeah, it's bleeding through a little bit. Glad I got my. A kitchen towel here. Definitely want something underneath these. Once they start getting wet, they start to to bleed through a little bit. That's okay. See, that's kind of what we're getting on the other side. But this kind, this is kind of fun. Like it's kind of nice to have like one-time use paints. So I don't know about you. When I was little, we used to get the watercolor paints um, in like the big plastic tray. And once you used them a couple times, it just got to be a muddy mess. <laughs> so I, I remember using paints every once in a while, but, but not a lot. All right, so we got the orange background. Um, let's see if we can maybe darken it up in some areas. Is there, while we got the orange out and going, is there anything else that we should make orange? Um, maybe, oh, I kind of, let's just wait on the orange. Cause I was going to say make these all orange, but his feet are right there. And I think they blend in. Um, we'll go from there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll put orange to the side for now. Let's do maybe some more blue somewhere. I haven't used a lot of blue. Let's make kind of the same thing. We don't want too crazy here. Let's make this balloon blue. Kind of keep the blue away from the blue egg, but still have it around. Ooh, I made some purple. Let's just embrace that real quick. That's kind of a nice purple. Hmm. Maybe we have a little bit of a purple heart. We'll see. Okay, that's the start of something. I'm gonna put that on pause real quick while I'm monkeying with this blue. And let's put some blue on this side somewhere. Uh, let's maybe make this balloon blue with the green heart. There you go. Okay, that's something. It's gonna kind of. Ooh, there we go. I wonder if I can get the orange again. Maybe the yellow. We haven't done a lot of yellow. Let's get some yellow. I wonder what that looks like on the red. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm just experimenting now. <laughs> Let's make this balloon yellow. 
And if we leave some hearts white, that's okay too. Maybe we just don't want color in everywhere and everywhere. In everywhere and on everywhere. That's kind of a nice happy yellow. See if we can darken it up a little bit. Kind of turns. There we go. It's like a tie-dye heart now. Let's make maybe one of these hearts yellow on this side. Ooh, getting low on yellow already. Um, maybe this one. Ooh, she's a little wet. I think we might be out of yellow. Okay, all right. Let's see, what other color do we have a most the most of? We have a lot of purple still. Maybe we can do um, like this top strip purple and see how that looks, even though it's kind of close to the purple we used on the egg. And that purple heart. Well, we're kind of running out of colors and I kind of want to color the stripes. Mm -hmm. This purple is really dark. It's kind of pretty. It's like a grape or a plummy purple. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that still kind of looks different from this purple because we mixed it with the blue a little bit. Okay. That's something. Let's darken this up a little bit so it's opposite of that one. There we go. I'm gonna dab it a little bit. There we go. And then maybe we'll bring the orange back out and see if we can blend that a little bit in there, kind of like the other side. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. We have blue and we have some red. We have more purple. Let's make maybe, should we make these hearts purple too? Since we have so much purple left. Oh, here I gotta get that little more water on there. There we go. I think it's turning out pretty good for what we got. Not bad at all. And it's taking a lot of time. Yeah, art takes time and patience, but this is kind of relaxing. There. Um. All right, let's maybe make this balloon purple since we got a lot of purple right now. And let's maybe make this heart purple and the yellow one. There we go. So, and then we have some more blue. We got a lot of blue left. So let's, let's make this blue maybe. That's kind of fun. Okay. It doesn't have to be dark blue, but we got enough blue to maybe we can make it dark. We might make it dark. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we mix a little color, so what's going on? blue. 
Let's maybe do a little yellow. If we got some yellow left. My yellow's kind of hurting though. But maybe we can add a little glow to kind of separate his body from this blue stripe that I put in just because kind of at the mercy of whatever colors we got. There we go, that's kind of different. There we go. It's got kind of a fun glow. There we go. Yay. Okay. Um, let me brush off, whoops, some of the paper crusties. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, we got red left and, oh God, still more purple and blue. Let's maybe make these hearts blue up here. Hmm, got lots of blue. This is kind of where we're at for colors. You can kind of tell which ones we've used the most because they're the most bled through on the back. Um, there we go. Oh my goodness, and don't let me forget to sign our beautiful artwork at the end once we get finished. We'll sign it like a real artist. There we go. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's maybe make, I wonder if we can make that yellow, a little heart. I'm trying to get as many colors spread out as we can. I'm running out of yellow. I wonder if I could use a fresh one to see if I could pick up some more color. Yep, there's a little left on there. There's a little, not a lot, but a little. Um, let's do, let's bring out the red again. Let's bring out the red. We got a bit of red left to use. Um, let's maybe do this heart in red. And maybe this heart in red. We're getting there. We're filling up our page with some colors. So excited. Um, let's make this heart red. And maybe this heart red. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, looks like we got his hands and two balloons left. Should we maybe do his hands like we did his feet? Do kind of the, the orangey thing? Or should we make him like green or something fun? Maybe let's do green. How much green do I have left? It'll be kind of like a little alien bird in an egg. I got any green left here. Yeah, it's coming up. And maybe we can mix it with a little bit of yellow or something. I really like using yellow today. I don't know what my deal is. Or maybe some orange, kind of like we did his feet. Make kind of a brownie color. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll work. That works. Make a new color. Yeah. Now two more balloons, two more balloons. And I'll take, I still have plenty of purple left, but I already got a purple balloon and a purple heart. Let's, I got blue, red, can we do a red balloon? Well, we can make that heart red and then that balloon will be done. I don't got a whole lot of red left either. Oh, well, we got two pink hearts next to each other. Oh, well, not perfect. Um, we might have to have a purple balloon over here, too, just for the sake of what colors are left. And if I felt fancy, true, I could, you know, bust out the color pencils. I have so many. But I kind of want to use what, what we got here with the little kit, the little page kit that we got. There we go. That's kind of neat. And then this balloon over here. 
Let's see if we can make, oh, I don't know. Green, maybe? See if we got enough green left. I think there's a little corner we haven't used over here. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get as much green off there as I can. Let me see what the back looks like. Oh, not bad. We're not bleeding through the black back at all. That's kind of nice. Um, ooh. There we go. Maybe let's add kind of like a little more purple to this side since we got so much pink going on. And that way our heart can kind of have a few different colors going on on it to kind of balance out some of the other red we got going on around it. Wet, wet. A little bit of, ooh. There. Isn't he cute? And he does need to dry a little bit. Let's see, let's look at how much color we got left. We got maybe a little bit of blue left. I think we used quite a bit of the colors that we were given. And it's good that I have a paper towel because my little paint strip, or not my paper towel, my, my kitchen towel, because those did bleed through quite a bit since we used so much water. But you kind of got to use a lot of water with this. Ooh, let's pop off these two Q-tips that Stephanie sent me. And I'll use these two. I'll put these in my Q-tip stash. And there was one we didn't quite use. Oh, there's a little bit of color on that. I do not want to mix that in with my other stuff. So let's just kind of, since it's dry and clean, just knock off some of the fuzz. Or not fuzz, some of the paper that I lifted up. Clear, our little egg guy is done. All right, well, let me sign it quick. And then, whoops, hit you with me. There, you can look at him quick. <laughs> Let's sign our artwork and it'll be done. Where should we sign it? Like over here? Let me, I don't want to bleed through. There we go. Just sign our name. Ta-da! There. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today and doing some relaxing watercolor painting. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, thank you so much again, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye.